Well, hello everyone. It's good to see you again as I come up with uh, the teaser video. This is for November 15th. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Um, soon I had a, a vacation week at the end of uh, October or beginning of November um, in which we were supposed to go to a wedding in Missouri, but COVID has kind of scaled that back. But I had already put in the vacation time, so we just stayed around Harrisburg. Um, and then we had the week up at camp or the weekend up at camp. So it's, it's been three weeks since I spoke at church last. Um, and today, um, it's interesting because this message could be kind of deep. Um, it's from 1 Corinthians, uh, chapter 2, verses 10 through 16. So 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verses, uh, chapter 2, verses 10 through 16. Um, I encourage you to read the passage. Um, this is one of those, um, passages that you really if you could get in a small group and start discussing it i think it really covers a lot of uh material and really makes you think i don't know how you feel about deep conversations I'm, i like deep conversations i gotta kind of be in the mood for them a lot of times i just like to be uh brain dead and, and you know just uh veg out and not really have a lot of discussions but sometimes discussions can get pretty deep and if i'm in a mood for it, it can um, I've enjoyed them around campfires. I've enjoyed them in in lead team meetings. I've enjoyed them just in, in, in gatherings when you think you're watching a football game. And next thing you know, there's a conversations breaking out that's got kind of deep, and a few people gather around the table, and and you really start digging deep. And this is a passage I think that can get kind of deep. Um, it's interesting because. It's talking about God and and grasping the concept of God a little bit. And honestly, as mankind, I don't think we can put in words or truly get an understanding of who God really is. And this passage kind of says that. It basically says, without the Holy Spirit, we can't really understand God. We can't understand God's Word because mankind can't truly grasp the vastness of God. And without the help of God, thus the Holy Spirit inside of us, um, it makes it hard to truly understand God's Word, His teachings, and what we're supposed to get out of it. And it's interesting because in today's world, a lot of people who don't believe in God or haven't accepted Christ or, or don't know the Holy Spirit try to tell you what God is or what God's like. And this passage truly says if you don't know God, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, there's no way you could even grasp the concept. So the fact that we listen to humans and or uh, mankind and what they have to say when they're not believers, when they're talking against or talking about or being negative about God or saying God doesn't exist, um, this ba the, basically they're speaking foolishness because without having God you, in you and the, through the Holy Spirit, you can't even conceive or grasp the concept of who God is. If that sounds like it's getting a little deep, then you can kind of get an idea what this passage is. I'm I'm actually going to refer to a, a, a small book by A.W. Tozer called The Knowledge of Holy. Um, that was a book that was very humbling for me uh, when it came to trying to grasp who God is and, and how um, that whole thing comes together. And it's, it's interesting. And I know sometimes I don't really try to preach on a very um, high theological or a seminary level because uh, most people um, will, don't understand those messages or they, it goes over their head. And, and frankly, if we're preaching messages that people don't understand, we're not doing God's word justice or are we doing um, God's work by sharing the gospel with people in a way they can understand. Jesus spoke how people could understand. But I think this passage and the discussion, the title of my message is actually called Deep Thinker. And and I think sometimes we have to at least try to wrap our head around the whole vastness of, of God, um, His Word, being indwelt by the Holy Spirit, what the world may say about this idea and this concept. What do we say as we try to dig in and maybe in our Bible studies and Sunday school and, and grasp the idea that, you know, there, there are people who are trying to read the Bible, trying to get an idea of uh, who God is, but they haven't accepted and they don't know the Holy Spirit yet. And without having the assistance of the Holy Spirit to discern and and bring the God's Word to life, it's, it's a hard thing to grasp. I know a lot of people tend to read as intellects. And, and what I mean by that, they're reading for the knowledge of it and maybe not the whole essence of it. 
Um, you can do that like when you're going through school and you have to take tests and you're reading stuff for the knowledge so you can pass the test with, with really not totally grasping enough of it that you would remember it 20 years down the road. You just, you did what you had to, to pass the test. And if that's how we're approaching scripture, it's not going to truly sink in. We're not, the Holy Spirit's not going to be able to nurture it and we won't be able to truly grow in our understanding of who God is what it meant by his son Jesus and, and what it means when the Holy Spirit is um, living within us or is indwelled in us. So that is something to chew on. If you're using this as a teaser, I mean, I've given you, I think we normally post these on Wednesday, so it gives you a good three, four days to read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 10 through 16 and try to wrap your head around that concept because that passage talks about without the Holy Spirit, we can't know God. So it also will talk to us, well, how do we approach people who don't yet know Jesus or haven't accepted um, Christ or the Holy Spirit and don't know God? How can we have conversations with them on that intellect level to they, before they come to know it on the spiritual level? So some challenging things. It's, um, it's a little deeper, a little deeper conversation, a little deeper message this, this coming um this Sunday on uh, November 15th, where we also have our congregational meeting. We're taking in another new member. That'll be 27 members this year. It's exciting. Um, so we're, uh, the congregational meeting, we'll be uh, voting in uh, council members and kind of just kind of go over the summary of what was obviously a very interesting year and and where we look to go this coming year and and some things like that. So I look forward to seeing everyone who's able to, to join us. And for those of you who's using this teaser as a preview, uh, good luck as you read this passage and dig deeper. Until then, take care.